We are bedeviled by the mysteries of creation. Hey everyone, how's it going? Koala Superhero here with another Overwatch video. Welcome to Know Your Enemy, a brand new series where I'll be talking about how to play against different heroes, how to counter them and have the upper hand on the battlefield. It seemed fitting to start this new series with Moira, the latest Overwatch hero, who, in the right hands, can be very annoying to defeat. And before we get started, if you enjoyed this video and wish to support the channel, please think to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. First off, let's start with some more general tips to use when playing against her. Number one is don't follow her orbs. In general, our reflex is to move back when being attacked or taking damage. When faced with one of Moira's damage orbs, don't do that. If you fall back, you'll effectively be following the orb and taking more damage as a result. So try to go in the opposite direction to the orb to expose yourself to the least amount of damage. Of course, if you want to take the damage, to tank it for example for your teammates, do the opposite and follow the orb as much as you can. The orb has a certain amount of charge, so the more charge you can remove from it, the better it will be for your teammates. Tip number two is wait for her to fade. Much like Tracer with her recall, wait for Moira to use her fade ability before using abilities of your own. There will be little she can do to avoid anything you throw at her whilst her movement ability is on cooldown. Tip number three is take her on from a distance. Moira is a short to medium range hero, and there isn't much she can do against you if you are out of her right click range. Any hero with a respectable accuracy from longer ranges will be able to be very annoying for a Moira, so think Soldier, think McCree, Widow or Hanzo, or even Anna or Zenyatta. You can also apply the complete opposite to this and take her on at extremely short ranges and dive her. The closer you are to Moira, the more trouble she'll have tracking your movement and keeping her right click damage on you, meaning the potential damage she can deal to you is minimised. Basically, if you're in mid-range of Moira, that's where she's the most lethal to you, so try and be either too close or too far to her. Tip number four is shields up. Much like Symmetra's primary fire, Moira's right click damage cannot pass through barriers. And since Moira relies on her lifesteal to replenish her healing ammunition so to speak, any hero with a barrier will cause her a lot of strife. And tip number five is bust a move. Unlike Symmetra or Winston who can lock onto their targets and stay locked with a flexible and comfortable margin, Moira needs to keep adjusting her aim to stay on target. This means that moving around and making it hard for her to do this will save you from taking at least some damage. Think Genji double jumps and dashes, tracer blinks or junk rat concussion mines. The more unpredictable you are, the better. Armed with these tips you should have an easier time playing against Moira, but if you really want to take her down, here are some quick fire counters for you to use. Reinhardt's shield absorbs Moira's orb damage like it does with her right click. Track the orb's movement to absorb most if not all of the orb's damage pool. You can deflect and hijack Moira's damage and healing orbs with Genji. You can also eat up both orbs with Diva's defense matrix. Remember, your matrix reaches quite far in front of you. Symmetra and Winston can lock onto Moira more easily than Moira can lock onto them. Hooking, sleeping or stunning Moira in any way will stop her ultimate. Tracer can break the connection with Moira's right click by blinking. Much like against Symmetra, Winston's weapon and endurance combined are ideal to take Moira down in a 1v1 fight. Hopefully this video has helped you understand Moira a little bit more and be more confident when she's on the other team. If you enjoyed this first video in the Know Your Enemy series, please let me know in the comments. Equally, if you have any suggestions on how to add to or improve this series of videos for next time, please let me know. With that said, that just about sums up this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.